Let's start with two things about Rexburg. Ooh, speaking of Rexburg, shout out to my friend Rose. She lives in Rexburg. All right. What's up, Rose? Thanks yeah. for your comments and love on Facebook. And uh, there's a wand shop there now. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Now, maybe I'm severely underestimating the Harry Potter fandom in East Idaho. Sure. But I would think that that would only do well, like, you know, at Universal Studios. Where did, Didn't... Yes, we did look One at that. One of your nieces or nephews get a both custom- of them did. Okay, both. <laughs> of course they did. And a butter beer. Uh-huh. One frozen, one not. I mean, that yep. was a great. That was that was really fun. That was our first episode. Not as good as Disneyland, but still very fun. Agreed. But um, I guess yeah, at this shop, same thing. You can customize yeah. your own wand. Here's the thing. Realistically, you have a never-ending pool of college students going in and out. That's you know? true. Not only that, but I mean, that's kind of a great place for a first date. Oh, yeah. You know, Spend a little time a customizing your wand. Yeah. Yeah. Now, thankfully, Mormonism doesn't usually like shit on Harry Potter and be like, you can't read it because it's witchcraft. Right. My, I know my conservative Baptist group right. was, was against it. Yes. For those reasons. Yeah. So I think they'll do okay. Um, I know that there are probably some slightly more diehard Mormons who might not be into that, but realistically, most of them, like, What else are they going to do? Right. So, I mean, new BYU-Idaho pickup line. Hey, want to come wax my wand? (laughs) Funny. (laughs) Funny. Well, and I think the wands are only like 20 bucks each, right? Or start at 20 bucks? I think something reasonable like that. And I mean, realistically, a nice date for $40 where you guys go in, make wands together, and like get to chit chat and create, like, that sounds nice. You know, I... Honestly, I would go there. That sounds fun. Yeah. 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 It's called the Wonderful Workshop, 18 East Main Street. I'd probably just be pointing wands down at me and saying, when guardian Leviosa, <laughs> Leviosa. Well, I mean, you know, if you're looking for a magical evening. We still have that second Rexburg thing to get to. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot about that entirely, man. And there's someone listening who's like, when are they going to talk about the other thing? The other thing is crispy cones. We got to go there. Oh, tell me about crispy. I haven't heard about this. It's soft serve ice cream in a cone. Okay. The cone is where the magic is. It's, okay. It's thicker dough uh-huh. that's basically over grilled over a rotisserie and oh. then sprinkled with sugar. So these guys were just on Shark Tank last Friday night with Barbara Corcoran. Oh, really? Yeah, who's doing the deal with them. Oh, crazy. They're expanding. it. They already have stores in Rexburg, Logan, Provo, Chandler, Arizona, Tempe, Arizona, and Orlando, Florida. Oh, so, th- so, and they've got 20 more stores coming. So, yeah, we got to give them a try. Yeah. Go up to like- Rexburg, get some um, curry pizza. Oh, I do love me some curry pizza. A crispy cone for dessert. Mm. You know, do a little soaking <laughs> in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, that crispy cone sounds so good. It's it almost it's almost like getting to go to one of the first McDonald's. Right. You know? Right. Get like, in, this could be your chance. Get in on this on the ground floor. Uh, you <laughs> Make an do? investment in your sugary carbs. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Do you want to do a little Rexburg trip this upcoming weekend? Because that, sounds, that sounds really nice. It sounds fantastic. Well, yeah, we'll totally do curry pizza and stuff. Oh, and maybe go to Denny's since the Chubbuck Denny's closed too. Right. So now Denny's is closed in Idaho Falls mm-hmm. and Chubbuck. Yeah. The only Denny's is in Rexburg. Wild to me, by the way. 